All right, let's continue. It's perfectly fine all weekend. The one time I decide to need to do something, it's it just pisses down. <sighs> all right. Is there rain a lot out there? In Melbourne? Yeah, man. In, that's winter, basically. It doesn't get cold, it just rains. Man, you get, like, that hot, sticky rain. Humid in summer when it rains, yeah. But it doesn't oh, I hate that often. shit. That's, like, my least favorite weather right there. So this week, tomorrow, sunny, Tuesday, cloudy, Wednesday, rain, Thursday, sunny, Friday, rain, Saturday, rain, Sunday, sunny, Monday, rain, Tuesday, rain. <laughs> Shit. So the days I have off, only one of them's gonna be sunny. The rest that weekend is gonna be just kind of miserable. Sounds like a good reason to stay inside. Yeah, I mean, I was thinking of doing a movie night or something. One thing I had like a an urge to do is watch a bunch of Jim Carrey movies. What is this? What the fuck? I have not done this one before. This is new. Airtime. But yeah, like uh, Cable Guy, Liar Liar, that stuff. Oh, I would be all about that. I'm a huge Jim Carrey fan, dude. Yeah, dude. There's some Especially of those, movies, like, those old movies. Yeah, I have not seen them in a very long time. What are we supposed to do here? I have not a fucking clue. I see arrows, follow the arrows, I guess. It's like a... Oh. <laughs> this whole thing is pretty much, you need to be on your own, otherwise you will... No! You'll get Are screwed over. Are we supposed over. to try to stay in the zone as long as possible? Is that what it is? Yeah, I think so. Actually, you're correct. Oh, okay, I see now. I understand this. Interesting. There we go, now I've got a spot here. Oh, yeah, you I'm bastard! <laughs> Have you considered getting something like Joylingo to try and learn Korean? Yeah! From what I've heard, like, my co-worker who's Korean, he's told me it's not too bad to learn. No, yeah, for sure. I remember I was trying to learn French on Duolingo for a while. Mm, French is a bit weird sometimes. Yeah, French is a toughie. I think for me it would be refining Spanish. That would be a goal. That'd be the main one for you? Initially, yeah. Like, I'm, I'm alright at it. I think the problem is when I need to be specific in a, in a sentence to refer to certain objects or things. Like, sometimes I won't remember the word right away. Yeah. But in terms of, you know, general chatter, I think I can, I can manage pretty well. I wouldn't be able to stream in Spanish, that's one thing. Like, I'd be mixing in English constantly. Hmm. One year for April Fools, I was gonna just start the stream and just stream in Spanish. But I got too self-conscious <laughs> about it. Oh man. I was like, That'd nah, someone, if someone who actually knows Spanish walks in, they'll be like, you don't know Spanish. So I, I, I chickened out. Aw, oh, man. That's kind of a shame. Yeah. Maybe this, maybe the, the next one. Or one in the future. Yeah, maybe. The time to learn it would have been during the pandemic, but 
you know, mental health was a bitch during that period. Yep. You can say that again. Kinda hard to be motivated to do anything when, like, you're locked away for five months. Straight. Yeah, that was fucking brutal, man. Oh, man. Towards the end of it, it was just, like, a matter of just existing. That was it. <laughs> yeah, seriously. It's a neat samurai outfit. Oh, well, fencing outfit, I guess. But yeah, I'm thinking of doing that. Um... Because there's quite a few that I want to watch. Liar Liar... <sighs> The Mask, Cable Guy, Me, Myself, and Irene. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, Truman Show was all right. Bruce Almighty. Have Almighty's you seen Eternal Sunshine? I have not, no. Oh, man. That was not exactly a comedy, but it is very yeah. good. Yeah. It's probably one of my favorite movies of all time, personally. It's just a matter of what's on what streaming service. Yeah. Liar, liar, man. It's so good. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever watch 21? 21? Yeah, it's like a... It's a horror movie that... Well, I guess more of a thriller, I guess. Or no, 23. I'm sorry. It's 23. Okay. I have heard of it. But no. Yeah, it's literally like a numerology horror movie. Right. It's kind of funny. And then in terms of bad movies, do you ever hear of that, uh, oh, the movie that went viral um, from Uganda? It was like an action movie. Uh, are you talking about the one with really terrible special effects? Yes, it was like $200 budget. Yeah, 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 I know what you're talking about. Yeah, they have the DVD masters on YouTube, so you can watch them. <laughs> oh man, that would actually be pretty funny. Yeah, because it's dubbed in English by Ugandan people. And you know there's really, really... Good. I've seen really funny Bollywood movies. Yeah, Bollywood's entertaining. Yeah, that'd be that'd be good. I'd be down for some Bollywood. I just wouldn't know where to look, I guess. YouTube probably. Did I tell you that my uncle was in an Afghani movie? No. Yeah, he was he was in one. Um he went to I don't even know how he got it. I'm pretty sure he went to a gym and one of his friends just his dad was in the movie business. So... Yeah, he he was an ex- he, he was he was initially an extra and then they made him a, a main character. Went to a premiere yeah. here to see the movie. And thankfully it was, it was part comedy. So like, there were bits that were meant to be funny and coincidentally the parts where they just dubbed my uncle with, like, a different voice actor or something, and made him speak, um, Afghani. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it just coincidentally, at the same time, we were supposed to laugh, so. But yeah, oh, very bad, very bad special effects. And the main villain had, uh, these, he had really long hair, and then he had these contact lenses that gave him snake eyes, and every time his character oh came God. on screen, it would go, Go, bro. Cobra. <laughs> like three times in a row. Cobra. Oh, that's incredible. He was supposed to represent like lust and desire, but yeah, that's funny. That's pretty great. All the fighting scenes, um, they put like punch sound effects on them. 
It's great. <laughs> <laughs> like, as if you're playing Street Fighter or something. Yeah. Oh, dude. Man, yeah, the Cobra pretty... thing reminded me. Have you have you been watching Cobra Kai at all? No, I never got into that. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, that's fair enough. It's kind of cool, though. You know, they're, like, bringing back literally the entire cast of, like, the original movies and shit. So. I'm not kidding. It's definitely got a big nostalgia factor to it. I guess because I never really saw that movie much as a kid. It's not one of those ones that I have much nostalgia for. Yeah, that's totally fair. I definitely grew up watching fucking Karate Kids, so... Now, for me, the nostalgia is... Well, uncles in... that grew up in the 80s are all about that shit. My nostalgia is in Back to the Future. Uh, Ferris Bueller. What else you said? Kin Kindergarten Cop. Um, Jingle All the Way for Christmas. Oh man, Kindergarten Cop? Fuck it, eh? Uncle Buck. I've never heard of that one. That's uh, John Candy. Oh. It's a pretty good movie. I'm um, home alone, Ed, quite a bit. <laughs> oh, fucking getting aggressive. Oh shit! Yeah, this is. <laughs> I went for the big leap. Yeah! Nice. Good Victory! Shit. Oh my god, uh, you're like riding that thing? That's actually yeah. awesome. Did you ever see the Bill Murray movie Stripes? I've not I actually haven't seen much Bill Murray. Aside from Stripe. like, you know, like Ghostbusters, that kind of thing. Stripes is a good one. It's, uh, he's just this dude that joins the army, basically. Oh. Yeah, and he's just, you know, he's kind of just very sarcastic and just, uh, he doesn't see the point in much stuff. And he just joins the army because he's like, why not? It's got a pretty good cast in it. Oh. Have to give that a watch. There's, there's a really good point in it that like I always cite in in terms of like uh if people aren't listening to me <laughs> it's just I always cite this part of the movie. Uh anyway. Um what about planes, trains and automobiles? That's a classic. Oh I've not seen that either. That one is amazing because it um again it's it's John Candy but it has a. Uh, Steve Martin in it, and up until that movie, I like I always thought Steve Martin was like a pretty G-rated kind of actor. Mm -hmm. But he has this monologue where he's just angry in it, and he like the amount of f bombs he drops in that sentence is so good. <laughs> it's an odd couple kind of movie, basically. That's good. Um. Uh, National Lampoon's another one I have kind of, like, nostalgia for. Mm. The vacation movies. These are the ones that just used to air on TV here. Yeah? Like, I'd say every year. I've definitely got, uh, got the Goonies in there, for sure. I saw the Goonies once. Really? Don't really, don't really remember much of it. Oh. One series I do want to see is Police Academy, but there's no place to see all of them on a streaming service because, of course, not. Did you ever watch the Honey I Shrunk the Kids? Yeah, yeah. And no. there's Honey, I Blew Up the Kid as well, right? Mm-hmm. And then Honey, I... Honey, I... No, wait, the adults. I think it was Honey, I Blew Up the Baby. Oh, yeah, there was something about the adults in there as well, wasn't there? Where all the adults are, like, shrunk. 
Yeah, something like that. Yeah. I don't know, I only really ever watched the first one anyways. I barely remember it. It was like something I definitely watched a few times, but... It's just not yeah, enough. It's a very, it's a very far away memory now, for sure. It's just like, uh, three men and a baby and three men and a little lady. Mm, I don't remember that one. That one is, uh, Ted Danson. Fuck, what the fuck is his name? Dude, Burt Reynolds. Is it Burt Reynolds? No. Fuck. Dude with a mustache. Like, known mustachioed gentleman. I'll look it up. I don't uh... think it's Burt Reynolds. No, Tom Selleck. I'm thinking of Tom Selleck. Sorry. Yeah, Tom Selleck, Ted Danson, and Steve Gutenberg. Hmm. And then they have uh, the sequel where it's like three men and a little lady. Oh. You must have missed that one. It's from 87. It's a pretty good movie. Oh, they were going to do, like, a third movie, but then they abandoned it. Hmm. Trying to think of other things I have extreme nostalgia towards. All the Homeward Bounds was super hard nostalgia. Land Before Time. Yeah, Land Before Time for sure. Um, there was that, uh, fuck, what was it called? Oh, I think I'm out. Damn it. But at that Jonathan Taylor Thomas dude, it's like where he hangs out with his dad. And they go to the wild. Forget the name of the movie. Hmm. Oh, I definitely have big nostalgia for like Robin Williams stuff. Like, Flutter, yeah, man. Fucking yeah. Jumanji. Patch Adams is alright, a bit, albeit a bit sad. Yeah. Fucking Hook. Some good shit. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck is the one where he played, like, an old lady? Uh, Mrs. Doubtfire. Yeah, or that's Ms. Doubtfire, one. sorry. Mrs. Doubtfire. That shit was funny back in the day. Yeah. Oh, yeah, other Jim Carrey movies, too. Uh, you got Yes Man. I haven't Fucking seen Bruce yes, Almighty. Yeah, Bruce Almighty, yeah. Dumb and Yes, man's a good one. Dumb and Dumb is great. The Ice Ventura yeah, movies. Dumber, of course. I think I kind of fell out with his movies when he did Man on the Moon, the Andy Kaufman movie. I didn't appreciate it at the time because I didn't really know who he was. Oh yeah, you didn't know who Andy Kaufman was? Yeah, well, not yeah. really. Like, it wasn't something I was exposed to. My dad knew That's who he was. That's definitely some needed context for that movie, for sure. Yeah. Once you know, like, the kind of method acting that guy did, it's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, man. Have you ever watched those, like, old Andy Kaufman clips? Yeah. That shit's trippy, man. There's, all, there's like, a joke that says, like, he's not really dead. This just his latest and greatest bit. Yeah. No, honestly. The way that guy was, like, I wouldn't even be that surprised, honestly. Yeah. I found his Elvis impression, like, legitimately funny. Yeah. Like, just the bit where it's like, you know, 
he's talking in that weird made-up accent, and then he just is like, his Elvis impression is like surprisingly good. Can appreciate that. Shit. Wait, did we do another solo one again? Did we? I don't know. There's no squad icon, so I guess so. Hmm. Oh, yeah, fucking uh, Ace Ventura. Wait a minute, we're not even in the same game. Hang on. I don't see your not? icon. No? Oh, no, there you are, top left. Sorry, my bad. Oh, yeah. I do. yeah, yeah. It's just not usually standing next to each other. Sorry, what were you saying about Ace Ventura? No, it's, it's just another another Jim Carrey movie to include in the Jim Carrey movies. Yeah. Fun with Dick and Jane. That's another one. I, I haven't seen that yet. Because that was after Man of the Moon, wasn't it? Uh, was it? No, I'm I pretty feel like sure. it was I think it was like it was before. Or around that time. Yeah, around the around the same time, maybe for sure. Mm. It's kind of sad he was thinking about retiring. Yeah. Have you seen the Sonic movies? I've not. I've heard they're actually pretty good, though. Yeah, they're good. They're very good for uh, for a video game. Maybe it's pretty good, and Jim Carrey's role in it is really good. The dude rarely yeah, that's does sequels. role for him. Yeah, the dude rarely does sequels, so for him to do a second one, and probably doing a third one as well. You can see he's enjoying himself. One thing I didn't really get to catch much of um, was him in, in Living Color. Because we didn't really get that show here. Oh, yeah. But we've heard really good things about He's that show. He's got some classic clips from that show, man. They're so good. Yeah. There's one where he... Uh, karate instructor and shit. Yeah. The one I've seen that stuck with me was... You know that... uh, this dude, like, I think it was Canadian as well, but he was a rapper that put on, like, a Jamaican accent. His name was Snow. Oh, right. Holy shit, I forgot all about that. He had one hit song, but, like, Jim Carrey did a, a parody of it, and he called the song Imposter. <laughs> <laughs> he does the whole thing. It's so good. Like, I remember Jim Carrey doing a pretty good Vanilla Ice, too, if I remember correctly. Yeah. I, I actually remember that as well. I think it was a line he said, it's like, what's my name? Robert Van Winkle. Why? Because I couldn't think of something that rhymed with Winkle or something like that. <laughs> Every time I think of Vanilla Ice, I just can't help but think about his his explanation on sampling. Like, fucking hell, it's so good. Yeah. Just him trying to say, no, my song is different. Dun 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 dun. Then their song goes dun 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 dun. What the fuck? There's someone. Oh. 
Oh, uh, I got this game. Same. Damn. Sad. I'm going to watch my character float into space. <laughs> <laughs> That's sad. Oh, it dipped me to menu. It also did the same to me. <clears throat> Unstable internet connection. Fuck off. I have gigabit internet. How about you check your connection? Um, are we still in a party, or...? Um, yeah. Okay. Just making sure I didn't have the weird. remake. Yeah, a bit shitty. We're at the end of that. But I guess I'm not a fan of that one. Yeah, say I'll grab his ass, as ever. Yeah. I guess I can appreciate that they've tried to make it more interesting by having that whole, like, upper area with the fucking hexagons. Yeah, it definitely provides variety. That's the one thing they're doing well. Hopefully it stays stable. Do you watch any of uh, Red Letter Media's stuff? Red Letter Media... Yeah, they watch bad movies on VHS. Oh, no. They're pretty good. Stuff that they just do, just... like, commentary and stuff? Yeah, yeah, like... There's... There's movies that... It's not that they're, like, unknown actors or anything. Like, sometimes it's known actors very early on in their career or movies that, you know, didn't do as well as they thought they would. Mm. Like, uh... Fuck, that Bruce Willis movie where... It's kind of like they're tr they're trying to get him to play the same character from Die Hard, but with a much much higher emphasis on comedy, and it's just it's really bad. Oh man, yeah, I can yeah. see that not going well just based on the description. Yeah, I forget the name of it, but they release an NES game. And, uh, Nintendo did a cross-promotion in it, so, like, there's constant references to Nintendo in it. It's pretty funny. Oh, man. Like, one of the characters is quoted as wanting to go home, have sex, and play Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's dear. pretty great, actually. Yeah. I'm gonna look up the movie. Hudson Hawk, that's the name of the movie. Oh, I must have missed that. I never heard of it. It's from 1991. Um, let me see. 33% <laughs> on Rotten Tomatoes. Damn. Yeah. But the audience score is like 50%. The descript the critics consensus Hudson Hawk's kitchen sink approach to its blend of action and slapstick results in a surreal baffling misfire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. Straw fighting words right there. Oh, dude, is it on Prime? Oh, it's on. It's rent on Prime. How much? If it's like two dollars, yeah, it's it's cheap. <laughs> I might watch this one night. I'll go there for that one. That sounds like a good one. Yeah.
Uh, dear. But yeah, movies like that, that's what Red Letter Media cover. That's pretty cool. I like yeah. shit like that. Or like, uh, just very obscure straight to DVD movie releases. Like, I don't know if you've heard about, uh, Rem Lazar. I've not. Yeah, it's this, like, kids music movie. That was very, very obscure, and it's got on a resurgence because of them. Or in part to them. It's just this... Mm, this dude that dresses up as, like, a hero, and has pretty catchy music in it. This... I like the sound of that, for sure. The golden basketball vanished. Vanished? Yeah, it's okay. Oh, for fuck's sake. Everyone's fighting over the golden basketball. We're losing. No, I think we're out. They just did such a good job defending their shit. Ugh. Yeah. It happens. Wow, did not get very far on that one. Nope. And we're not in the party anymore. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, let me drop. I didn't realize. Classic connection. Yeah. Okay. Seems to take ages Look. to load now. It does. It might be the new maps. Oh, why steam why you pop up? Shit. Nearly got through that without taking a hit. Wasn't too far behind.
Ugh. What's the name of that game that you were playing? I'm gonna look it up on Steam so I don't forget. Oh yeah, Metal... Metal... Hellsinger. Yeah. yeah. Oh jeez, it's expensive here in Australia. Really? 45 bucks, yeah. That's... Damn, I wonder cool. why. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, I'm not sure. Reviews are all over. It's not so bad if I remember on Steam, on a on on our Steam, but like it also is on Game Pass too. So that's how I got it so quick. Ah, uh, okay. Um, hang on. Metal Hell Singer PlayStation. Maybe it'll be on the PlayStation thing. Doesn't mention that. I might look it up later. It's enough to pique my interest. Yeah, if you like that, if you like that, uh, just rip and tear feeling of doom, it definitely gives you that. But like, with the extra, with like the satisfaction of it being timed to music. Interesting. Oh, it's, it is pretty it's... interesting how they made it work too, because they just like you have like a constant sort of like beat timer going on your crosshairs. Right. Okay. So like literally everything you do, like the music gets better as you do better. Yeah, that makes sense. And stuff like that. Ha ha, you shit. No way. How did he get that? I literally flew through it first. I was gonna Man. say, didn't look like you scored there. The, things, the latency on my side, that's what I'm gonna blame. I never really liked the hoop one, but. Yeah. There's a lot of luck involved in it, in terms of just being in the right place at the right time. Yeah, seriously. I haven't been able to get a, s a single one. Okay, that one to yellow team, so that's good. Fuck. Yeah, fuck is right. Oh my god. The fucking hexagons in the air actually make this one worse, in my opinion. Yeah. It's more of a clusterfuck than before. <laughs> Get in! <laughs> my god. Please. Oh my god, I got lag at the most inopportune time. Alright, there we go. Got a fiver for us. It should be okay. We went from last to first, so... Let's go, the comeback of the century! Eat... Shit. Other oh, teams. It's like our whole team focused up right at the right moment. Yeah. Oh, I hit Steam, like, automatically loads a broadcast. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. My main question get... about that game is, is it... Stream safe because I don't know if that music uh, is all was all yeah. made for the game or not. 
that's the problem with rhythm games is they tend to be you can stream them but then if you want to do anything with the content on youtube it's very tricky yeah well if that is the case that that all that music was made specifically for that game yeah then it's a maybe but sometimes that doesn't even matter it still gets it Oh shit, I fucked up. I don't know if you've been following, but like, Swear Enix has been getting pretty bad with that sort of stuff lately. Oh yeah, I've seen that shit. But between like, the insane things they're asking streamers to do, if they give them CD keys, and just... They're blocking videos that show the endings to games. Yeah, it's fucking stupid. Yeah, it's like, if someone's looking at a playthrough of a game, like, odds are they're gonna get spoiled. Yeah. And their streamer guidelines, like, they recommend that to avoid confusion, you should put copyright Square Enix in your stream description. Fuck <laughs> like, off. Like, shit like that, and it's just like, that just makes Each me want day. to- That's so greasy. Yeah, that just makes me not want to play any of your games, basically. Yeah, Which is honestly. sad, because- there's some good stuff in there, but... Yeah, I don't know. A few streamers I followed, that game Live Alive that I played, mm -hmm. half of their playthrough has been nuked by Square Enix, basically. Wow. Yeah. I've been pretty lucky, like, mine's remained unscathed, but... I imagine that might not remain the case forever. <laughs> ha! They didn't score. It didn't go in. I like the guy that went diving in after that ball. That's some fucking commitment. They're behaving like Nintendo were. Uh... I forgot what other game that they launched recently as well that was like a disaster. And then they started blocking YouTube videos. Uh. All right, good luck. Which is all just gonna come down to how's positioning at the end. God damn it. Yeah. Just try and uh, remain away from people. Oh shit, this is this was a bad call. Good try. Yeah, I ran out of That was very close. Oh well. Very close.
He just out of, a part of the party kid. Oh, really? Yeah. I wonder why that keeps happening. Ah. There we go. I'll probably blame it on the fact that we're playing the Steam version. Why don't you play the Epic version? Oh yeah, another kind of cool thing is the narration, the narrator voice for that game uh, oh, yeah? is Troy Baker. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, overwhelmingly positive. It's it seems to be uh seems to be going well for them. Yeah, it's funny, like my friend was watching me stream it a little bit and I was like, Man, the Stereo's voice sounds so fucking familiar. And when he, like, looked it up and saw his Troy Baker, we're like, oh, of course. <laughs> like, uh. Hmm. I just finished Last of Us 2 as well. Ah, uh, I have yet to play that. Oh, yeah, that's definitely his most notable for me. His portrayal of, uh. I'm still undecided on the, uh, remaster. What is holding you back? I don't know, because... Like, I technically have a remaster. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's a remaster of a PS3 game, and now they're gonna remaster that. Like, I question... Yeah, I can is see it that. Is it worth that price tag? Like, what are they adding to it? I mean, like, I guess it would be nice to have something built around PS5 hardware. I would say just based on the visuals, on the merit of the visuals, that yeah, it'd be worth it. Yeah, it's just, I've heard people say mixed things about the visuals. Whoa, what? Okay. I generally don't play horror games, so... Yeah, I mean, you know, me either, though. Yeah. It's definitely, like, an exception. Fucking made it, hell yeah. Yeah, good. We'll see when it falls in. Halloween's coming up. Yeah, I mean... You know, if it's not your thing, it's not. But I wholeheartedly recommend doing it. I mean, it I have it. It is a worthwhile that's... experience, in my opinion. I have it, that's the thing. I just can't, re can't remember. I think it's launching before Halloween, right? Like, it's soon. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, well, the second one, too, had a little more of, a, like, a mix. Like, people had mixed feelings about it, I feel like, but... But that was more to I do with the story. I personally really enjoyed it. Right? Like, they had mixed feelings about the story. Yeah, some people thought that they fucked the story up. I personally thought they did really well. Hmm. Like, Angry Joe, I follow pretty specifically. Like, he's uh, he's one reviewer who didn't like it. Right. Did 
There are lots of dumb reasons for that, but there's some legitimate ones, too. I always take reviews as like a grain of salt, because no one's completely honest unless they've used their own money to get the game. Yeah, for sure. Because it's just a thing now, like, if you say anything too critical, they just won't give you a CD key ever again. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of bullshit. Yeah, it's like capitalism warfare right there. <laughs> Yeah, it's like IGN is like, oh, you know, some of the levels were confusing, and to be honest, didn't see the point to it. 8 out of 10. 9 out of 10, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Overall, uh, we would say the new Call of Duty is just kind of a throwback more, to the past. More of the like, same. More of not, the same. Not unique. Could use more innovation. Not unique. 9 out of 10. <laughs> like, fuck off, IGN. Jesus Christ. Yeah, reviews are just, nah. They're That's what I will give Angry Joe. I don't always agree. Every time. But that's a, you, it's, it's a, his opinion, I guess, unadulterated, right? Yeah, exactly. No, I mean, I, I try to find the enjoyment in games, but it's... Sometimes I'll be like, yeah, that genuinely was not fun. Yeah. Have you ever like, seen, have you ever, have you heard the uh, have you heard of the YouTuber Kroby Cat? I have not. Ah. Uh, he's kind of like a kind of an enigma on YouTube because he'll just like like he hasn't posted in a really long time. He had like a break for like I want to say, like, somewhere like five years. Damn. And then all of a sudden he appeared again for when Cyberpunk dropped. Oh, wait, is that the dude that... I think we talked about this. The guy that does edits and it's just interviews? Yeah, he just, like, edits together, like, the history of the game pretty yeah, much. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, I like, it's, in, it's... Yeah. Did the Ouya video I kind of wish there well. was more of that. <laughs> yeah. There hasn't I been many stuff that's appreciate. been as disastrous. I think GTA is probably another one, but there wasn't that much of a... The hype around it, I guess. I yeah, forgot for this sure. was the zone one. I'm probably gonna be out here. Yeah, I'm having a really hard time. Oh my god. I kind of like- Ah, oh, I just missed out. 2%. I fucked up. I wasn't paying attention to what we were doing. Ah. I almost- almost snuck in there. Realize what we were listening to. Oh, all right. <laughs> you remember the music video for this song? Yeah. <laughs> okay, you know what I'm talking about, though. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one. A lot of music it videos come had that it's, era. It's an appeal. <laughs> A lot of music videos from this era and this music, like, were very. Oh similar. yeah, put your hands up for Detroit. Yeah. All that shit. Yeah, yeah. Every single one had some sexy ladies dancing. Eric, to some Eric Pred's calling me. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that one. Wait. You're not in it either. Oh, I thought you were. Nope. Nope, I also died.
Yeah, I mean, as far as games go, the second half of the year, I'm not really sure what I'm looking forward to. Mm. It seems like we're kind of in an, a period of time where there's more remakes than anything else. Yeah, a little bit of a game lull. Pandemic. There have been some cool ones here and there, though. Still kind of waiting for the Terraria patch to drop and like a Steam cell get raft, but it just hasn't happened yet. I think the mm -hmm. Halloween one should be the next one. It shouldn't be too far away. Or the autumn one, I guess is what they call it here. Bro, what? Count to three and then jump. Star come from. Oh, I thought you were talking about, like, the shifting platforms. Alright. That did well. Dive it, jump in, jump in, the middle, the middle, Oh, oh I see. I didn't see that till this now. That's okay. I was like, what are you doing? Still made it. <laughs> Good work. Oh, is that like a Sun Wukong outfit? Oh boy. Ah. It's my favorite. <laughs> Best game mode. The amount of times where I will grab, I'll have a tail for the majority of it and then lose it in the last five seconds. That's the other thing I hate about this. It feels like people grab you from ridiculous distances. Yeah. But I can't do the same thing. I'm 
god. No way! Yeah. Exactly. Actually, no way. It's like a fucking mile away. I think I got it for once. Alright, I'm good. Oh, I also got one. Let's wow. go. Good luck. Yeah, I mean, that got rid of half. That one just feels like 100% luck, honestly. Yeah, it really is. Oh no, star chart. I think this one doesn't have checkpoints if you're not in a team, so... Ooh, try not to fuck up. Okay, up and then diagonal to the left. Diagonal to the right. Diagonal to the left. Diagonal to the right. Diagonal to the right. Then diagonal across. Easy. Nice. Oh, you didn't oh, call didn't him? Oh, bad luck. There was too fat of a fucking crew at the front. Yeah. That went really smoothly for me. Bad luck. Oh, sweet. Alright. I got this. <laughs> I love this one. This is my favorite finale. Oh, maybe not now. Change it up. Oh, they changed it up. Okay, this might be different. Ooh, ooh. Oh, this is definitely harder now. Now you have to... Okay, I might not have this. You're gonna have to jump across that that gap at some point. Yeah. This is a little scary. I feel like being in the anti-grav is probably the better call here, I'm not sure. Oh. Shit, I got bombs. Oh. Yeah. Man, that is that is super hard changes now. That one up. Yeah. It doesn't go from like uh me having a pretty high win rate with it. I mean I I still do well in it, just it's not as as good as it used to be. I actually like this duck costume. The duck costume? Yeah. Oh, they do that one.
to see you on stream spitting your chicken. <laughs> Like a record, baby, right round, round, round. I remember I was unreasonably angry when they came out with a mix of that song. Really? I don't know, yeah, I don't know why. It just made me angry. You know, the whole, uh, you spin my head right around. Yeah, true. Oh, yeah. And you go down when you go down to like, oh man. <laughs> I, I don't know they... what it was. It just rubbed me the wrong way. They've remixed Savage Garden as well and it doesn't sound great. Yeah. Man, I remember they were playing that kind of shit at like our eighth grade dances. It always felt kind of off to me. <laughs> They're playing like candy shop and fucking, you know, fucking Laffy Taffy and shit. I'm like, dude, what is this? The stripper music. We're fucking middle schoolers, dude. To be fair, it's, it's difficult. Like a lot of songs are about sex. Yeah. That's true. Especially like party bangers that you would play at a fucking... Dance, um, you know? do, you, do you know what my favorite one was? Um, Get Low, Little John and the East Side Boys. Mm hmm. Because they would play that and they wouldn't know what skeet skeet meant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, all my <laughs> friends were straight up just like, oh, skeet skeet, motherfucker! Ah, skeet skeet, skeet skeet. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> God damn. I saw them live, it was so good. Oh, really? Damn, I'm yeah. jealous of that one for sure. I saw them, and then uh, 50 Cent like was on afterwards with G-Unit. Oh, man, that's awesome. It was really good. Sounds like a great show. Yeah. When Little John and the Eastside Boys were on fucking hell, some of their songs, the amount of bass in there, just you feel your insides vibrate. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, I believe it. It was great. I love that feeling, man. I'm such a bass head, all those dubstep wubs get me. All right, did all right. Yeah, this is always the bit that fucks me over. Just be patient, hang around the middle, just wait, start, stop, start, stop. There we go, we got it. You got it anyway. Yeah. I was sad when I was playing Guario, and there was there's like a little animated sequence where he's kind of just shaking his ass, waiting for you to pick a level. And I started mm -hmm. doing the Little John and the East Side Boy song as Warrior, and no one knew what the song was, and I was, I was sad. Aw, oh, man. Yeah. That is kind of sad. How do you not know Get Low? Fucking apple bottom jeans, man. <laughs> hey, it's sort of got low, yes! <laughs> Uh fuck. That song is such a meme in like a positive way. Yeah. If that was ever on Nintendo, you can, crossover. you can have comfort in the fact that pretty much anybody of our generation will start singing that with Evie, start singing it. Yeah. It's like the fucking electric slide of our generation, you know, oh, we just man. know it. Yeah. I remember being, like, younger and, like, tripping out one of a bunch of adults would bake into the electric slide. Like, how the fuck do you all know this dance? <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, I'm honestly surprised Nintendo hasn't done a crossover with Fall Guys. Just give Nintendo costumes. Yeah. Fucking Link costume would be awesome. I want the Warrior costume. Well, just specifically just the hat. And that was really unlucky. Yeah. This one's a crapshoot, for sure. Oh, yes! <laughs> Got through. Ah. Oh. Well, we all four made it in any case. Yeah. The position. Ah, uh, man. Uh, actually, I think probably the cha-cha slide is our generation's electric slide. Yeah, that's true. Now that I really think about it. Man, I haven't seen that in ages. I mean, hey, I'll take that over the floss thing. Yeah, as will I. <laughs> do, do, do you remember Cisco? The, the thong song Cisco? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That song just popped into my head. I love that song. <laughs> that song makes me happy. Da 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 one thing I used to do, uh, the Cotton Eye Joe song. Oh, man. Wait, hang on. Need to memorize. But I would just be like... <laughs> 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 just wouldn't even bother to learn the lyrics. Oh, uh, fuck. Okay, or okay. Uh... Are now? Boot? Hey, Vinny, thanks for the raid. Hang on, dude. I need to memorize before I focus on it. How was stream? Screw. Okay, it's here. We're just talking about, like, uh, old early 2000s music, I guess. I'm not- I can't even remember what the dude says in Cotton Eye Joe. Uh... Uh... I'm not- fuck, I'm really not- know. I'm really not I sure. Oh. oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. Oh, you did Mario Kart. Yeah, that's cool. Have the, they haven't released the new DLC tracks for that yet, right? I think they're coming later. I haven't touched Mario Kart since release on Switch. I feel like I'd get my ass kicked. Oh, man. Yeah, we're talking about specifically Little John and the East Side Boys. Cisco. And oh. just caught the tail end of, like... Let talk me see that dog. <laughs> Baby! I love how passionate he sounds in that song. <laughs> uh, fuck. Uh, man, did I tell you about when I was in Portland and did stripperoki? You did what? Stripperoki. Like stripper karaoke? Yeah, like a karaoke with a, at a strip club. Never heard of it, no. Oh, yeah, it was... That was... I ended up doing Fuck You by CeeLo Green, but that was a very close second in the song I wanted to do. <laughs> it's the way they did it, too. They li they literally have, like, a stripper dancing up with you on stage while you're doing oh, karaoke. Oh, stage. no, you did mention this. Yeah, yeah, now that you say yeah. this, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you did. Yeah, I mean, props, oh, dude. I, would I wouldn't be able to do something like that. 
Wait, oh. I'll jump. Wait, what? Oh, what? Well, this one missing. This one missing here. There we go. Okay. I mean. Uh, yeah, I mean, I just had to hone my my drama kidness. Yeah, you can actually sing. I can't. Like, I'm doing it just to get laughs, pretty much amongst friends. But yeah, I nearly did the following song. I really wanted to, but <laughs> I didn't like. I just, I don't know. I guess I just kind of. I got too weird about it. I was like, oh no, I got too stressed out. Like, I don't know the song well enough, sort of thing. If you do stream and you do the song requesting, I'm gonna request it next time. Oh, you're gonna request this, the thong song? <laughs> Fuck yeah, I am. I'll absolutely sing this thong song for you. Ukulele rendition of the thong song. Oh yeah, I already know it. I can do it. What's the missing? Yeah, this one's hard. What the fuck? Uh, bottom three. Hang on. Two. There we go. Good. Okay, good luck. Oh boy, figured it out. Yeah, Cisco. I know, right? <laughs> we were just talking about stuff that they played in like high school or middle school at dances that teachers don't really know the meaning of. And I was just laughing that they used to play Little John and the East Side Boys, and they didn't really know what skate skate meant. Oh man. Yeah, I mean, even like candy shop. It's like, yeah. take me to candy shop, let me lick your lollipop. Like, come on, why is this? But, I mean, come at, on, guys. At, at least then. It's a double entendre, but. It's like he, radio no, friendly double not. entendre. There's no world he's talking about a literal candy shop and literal lollipops. No, of course, of course not. I don't know, man. I just remember, like, people would, like, gather into this, like, middle circle of just, like, grinding up on each other, just a <laughs> bunch of eighth graders grinding up on each other, and I thought it was gross, and I was an eighth grader at the time. <laughs> it's a candy shop. Oh, God. Dude. What a time. Trying to think what else was around that time period that was just probably equally as bad. Oh man, do you remember Gunther? Gunther, remind me. He's the fucking um. Oh, you touch my tra la la. Oh, mm, yeah, yeah, my yeah, ding yeah. ding dong. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. Can you believe that shit was playing on the radio, dude? That's one of the things I look back like that can't be real. I like dream that. <laughs> But, I mean, most songs are, are about sex, ultimately. Yeah, but that degree. was, like... <laughs> that was just straight up no shame whatsoever. Yeah, that's true. Oh, wow, we are getting destroyed here. Man, did you ever bother to even look at Gunther's other music? No. Dude, I gotta the send other you some... Music. <laughs> I gotta send you some shit. It's so good. I have to send you that now. Oh, damn oh man, we got fucked over. Is it is it lyrically awesome? It's incredible. Yeah. I mean, he's got a the song called "Tutti Fruity Summer Love." Tutti Fruity Summer Love. Yeah. Oh man. Classics such as "Touch Me." I okay. mean, do you remember what this guy looks like? There's no way he no. was. No, no, I don't remember. Like, okay, hold on. It wasn't until you you started quoting some of it that I was like, "Oh right, that thing." We're out as well. I forgot to that leave. I keep trying to think, but all that comes to mind is just boy bands and girl groups. Yeah. But I mean, amongst that, there was, you're right, 50 Cent, Little John and the East Side Boys, 
Cisco. Shaggy. Yeah. Mr. Lover like, Lover. Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> the premise of that song is ridiculous. He's describing a situation where he was caught in the act, has the goal to say, nah. What are you talking about? I didn't do it. It wasn't me. You didn't say shit. <laughs> look at this man. Look look at Gunther. Look him in look okay. him in his eyes. Oh, okay. I have to put this up so then stream <laughs> chat can see. Like that is <laughs> I hate I hate that in the bottom right corner it says sex myself. <laughs> That's the name of the single. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. Gunther. Like that, like just put into perspective in your mind right now, that right there is the man that wrote the Ding Dong song. And that was appealing to high school kids. Well, it was fucking, that song was playing on the radio for like a solid amount of time. Yeah. It wasn't you know, as It was as like, bad oh, it's playing on the radio. This must be what the kids, this must be like what the kids want to hear right now. It didn't get as much coverage here, but I definitely remember it. Yeah. Quite a time. That and that ketchup song thing. Oh my god. I used to get asked, like, what does the song mean? Because they thought it was in Spanish, Because just because they said, like, a few words in it. I was like, I don't fucking know. It just devolves into gibberish. <laughs> Uh dear, good times. But I'll still take that that over flossing. Yep. What would, what would like? Let's say back then, the streaming culture were a thing. Who do you think would be the person to do like what Ninja did, like flossing at New Year's? Just think of something cheesy. Mm. I think it would be Will Smith. Like, yeah. young Will Smith. I could definitely see that. Just trying to be cool. And that laugh he has. Mm -hmm. 80s would probably be Mark Wahlberg or Marky Mark. Most likely, yeah. <laughs> or like, in Australia, I guess specifically that dickhead that decided to have a party and invite people on Facebook. Oh, yeah. Man, that, that shit happened ten minutes away from where I used to live. It was a few streets oh, over. Real? Yeah, man. My cousin was that the, the one that they they uh, made a movie after. It? I really hope they didn't. That dude didn't deserve the fame that he got. But it I was just kinda... remember a movie called Party X, but I that might have been a different case. It could have been based on it, but. The whole thing was you had this big party and set invites on Facebook, and it was public. So, a lot of people turned up, the police had to break it up. Um... But yeah, what ended up happening to the guy... Because my cousins went to his school... He had to move to a different state, because what happened... Um... In the area, they just had extra police... Going around for a very long time on Fridays and Saturdays. And, you know, the area I grew up wasn't exactly the best, so there were certain people that were, let's just say, not happy about that. And so anytime he'd get spotted in public, they would call their cousins, and within 15, 20 minutes, like, people were looking to beat him up. Damn. <laughs> yeah, so it kind of got that bad, and the dude had to... He moved to the northern state and then went on Big Brother, and then that's the last anyone ever heard of him, like... His fame kind of ended there. Well, shit.
I wonder if he feels like it was all worth it. Mm, the guy was an idiot. Like, from what I heard, he's just a dropkick. He tried to... Probably uh, then. He tried to steal money from the school's canteen whilst there were people in it. Jesus. Yeah, I don't know. It's probably a yes, then, on whether or not he thinks it was worth it, I would imagine. <laughs> he probably did, yeah. Oh, no. Okay, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm alright. I'm the control. I am not. I got fucked. I got okay. stuck between two lasers again. <laughs> Damn it. I underestimate how much uh, knockback they got. Yeah. Oh, so, dude, we got, coincidentally. We got one uh, egg boy left. Yeah, I was gonna say our other squad member is also an egg. Yeah. But in the case of what came him. first, the chicken or the egg, it's probably the egg this time. Ah, oh, man, don't even bother with the side no, path. No! No! Okay. Oh, man. As long as they survive, we're still in it. His egg costume is better than mine, I must say. <laughs> He's got the matching top and bottom for the egg, too. That's why yeah. I don't. I mean, you've got the uh, questionable egg on top of the egg. Yeah, that gross fucking salami-ass oh. egg. <laughs> that salami? I'd be concerned if salami was that color. But I know what you mean. It does look like a, a, a meat of some sort. It just yeah, it looks like lunch meat. Yeah. Not a great kind. You can hear your heart, but you've been up for too long. Go to sleep then, virtual hugging. What are you doing? It's a normal time to be sleeping, like 10 o'clock, almost 11. Speaking of which, this round should be one of the last, actually. It's, yeah, it's late. Yeah, that's cool. Well, early now. Our friend here is doing pretty well, though. Mm. Well, let's say they it, let's say they lose. Oh. oh okay, he's good. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Squad qualifies with no thanks to the rest of us. Yeah, that guy literally carried. Yeah, for sure. been up because of monster energy drinks and stop drinking them <laughs> that's part your problem like no I, I either a don't complain about it or b stop drinking them like those are your choices it's like you want to stick to your guns and drink it more than don't be like, oh, my heart, I can hear it. Hey, or when you when you see. when you stick your when you stick your hand out, can you feel time? I can feel time when I stick my hand out. The C option is to double down and go even harder. Oh my god, nah, it's really bad, dude. Don't want to end up with heart problems. Yeah, no, energy drinks are bad. I'm just joking. Yeah. I definitely can't talk with all the espresso I consume, though, for sure. Nah, I, like, an energy drink for me is if I really, really have to, I, like, I haven't had much sleep, and I got shit to do in the morning for work, then I will. Yeah, it's like a last resort. That's a last resort. Or if I'm back in the day when I used to go out, it would be like, uh, okay, gonna be up, need to go all night.
it's one thing when you're younger too you can handle more of that shit that's yeah, debatable but well i guess i just mean in terms of like your heart is probably in a better place than like a 30 to 40 year old dude's heart yeah that's true in terms of like handling lots of caffeine yeah Like, even right now, I'm not even that old, but I still feel like five Red Bulls could probably take me out. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. Know? Nah, it's just, it's one of those things that, in moderation, it's fine. It's not ideal, but there are worse things. I kind of like Red Bull. I'm partial to, like, NOS, though. Which is one of the gnarlier ones, funnily, funnily enough. I don't think we have that here. Yeah, I remember back in the day, they came in plastic containers that were literally, like, nitrous. I don't mind the uh, limited edition Red Bull ones, the ones that are flavored, like, watermelon, yeah, like dragon Red fruit. Bull. Yeah, yeah, those ones. Not the, not the basic one. We have one in Australia called V, which is, it's pretty good. Yeah, I wanted, like, the popular ones right now. Red Bull's still going strong, Monster. Yeah, I don't know, Monster to me just, it's too, sh too much. Like, you can, I know all of them have sugar, to some extent, but that one just feels like I'm drinking candy. Which, I don't you know. You guys have Bang over there? No. Yeah, that's another big one. Okay. Oh, I see. They threw they threw a bomb. <laughs> That's why. I was like, why did the metal just suddenly vanish? Okay, so those the explosions have an effect on the tiles. That's great. Bang is candy. I think monster is candy. I'll get a sugar rush from. Okay, hang on. I can't read. <laughs> Like you gotta give me credit. I can I can read more than I should when it comes to playing these kind of games and focusing at the same time. Um, I don't know. I guess we have different standards in Australia. Like maybe they deem the other ones just bad in terms of health. It's like how Subway had to sort of change bread here, otherwise it would get classified as cake. And in other countries as well, because of the sugar content. I'm trying to remain in my own little pocket, but it's hard. Oh, okay. Nah, I'm gonna lose. This fucking pigeon. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh man, I thought yeah. our egg boy was gonna carry us. Yeah, to I thought so too. Oh well. I may as well watch the end of it. Okay, there we go. Okay. Rip. Didn't get the win as a finale. Yeah, big rip. There will be more, though. We'll make a comeback next time. Yeah. Let me know how you, what you're doing uh, like at the end of the week slash mid of the week, because I got Thursday and Friday off, which would be like Wednesday for you. Um, yeah. I'm not doing yeah, anything. I'll check my schedule and let you know for sure. Alright. Definitely do more of this. Yeah. All Thanks right, for dude. having me, bro. Good yeah, it was great. Good times. Appreciate the chat as always. For sure, for sure. I'll see you next time. All right, man. Take care. Later. Later. Yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up here as well. I think it's a good time to do it. It's almost midnight here, and I do have work in the morning, so I think I'm just gonna 
go uh, chill for the rest of the evening. But hope you enjoyed this little ball guy stream with Lelo. It's always a pleasure. Uh, plans for during the week. I, I do want to wrap up some of the stuff that I've been playing. I like I keep putting off Bridge Constructor because when I finish work, sometimes I'm not in the mood to think. <laughs> but I'll make an effort to finish that. And uh, yeah, we'll see what we do this weekend coming up because uh, I got four days off in a row. So it should be good. <laughs> 